Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and occasionally a few other days here and there. And I'm also a streamer over on Twitch. Today's video is a level five Patreon tier movie request from Ryan. And he wanted me to watch the 1997 film, LA Confidential. So thank you so much to Ryan for subscribing at that tier over on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. As per usual, I have absolutely no idea what happens in this movie, but I am excited to watch. So I guess with that, let's get started. If you're here watching this right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And for those of you over on Patreon, I also do appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so very much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all of the full unedited reaction videos over there and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or do anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And there is also another tier over there that is strictly just for polls. That is $2 a month for that. So yeah, ready to dive on into this. I have literally no idea what's going to happen and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So I hope you guys like this reaction to LA Confidential and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. You'd think this place was the Garden of Eden, but there's trouble in paradise. Of course. And his name is Meyer Harris Cohen. Oh, Which man. You see to his fans. Off the record, on the QT, <laughs> and very hush, hush. Have Central send a prowler to 4216 Evergreen. Parole violation assault arising from a family dispute. Great. Oh, he's gonna do something about it. Did you dance with the man for a change? Oh, you're some kind of smart ass. <laughs> Ooh, get clocked, dude. Go get yourself fixed up. Man, what a dick. <laughs> I saw the test results on the lieutenant's exam. First out of 23. Wow. What'll it be then? I was thinking detective bureau. Oh, he doesn't like that. You have the eye for human weakness, but not the stomach. At least get rid of the glasses. I can't think of a single man in the bureau who wears them. It's not his fault. <laughs> he can't see well. Sketchy. Oh. <gasps> get lost, why don't you? Oh. <gasps> oh. I used to be a cop. Leland Meeks. Never heard of you. They call me Buzz. Somebody hit you? It's not what you think, but it's nice to know you care. Hot bus. Oh boy. Boob. Freeze. Oh my God. <laughs> Take care of them right down to Hollywood Station. I'll get the evidence. <laughs> Amazing. Fleur de lis. He's got his priorities all screwed up. He looks just angry all the time. I feel like he's just gonna blow up at some point. He just, he just has permanent angry face. Oh boy. Mexican, sir. The ones who assaulted Brown and Helenowski. Yeah, I heard Helenowski lost six pints of blood and Brown's in a coma. They're home with bruises and muscle pulls. It's not what I heard. Let's get these men booked and into the lockup. Hey, Stan. Oh my God. They brought the Mexicans in. They're downstairs. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh! So much for trying to calm people down. Yeah, nice, good. Bloody Christmas. Oh, police assault prisoners in jailhouse melee. Yep. Your badge and gun, officer. You're suspended from duty. Oh, yep. Dismissed. All you had to do was, you know, take it down a notch, you ass. Justice has to be served. Of course I'll testify. Shift the guilt to men whose pensions are secured. Force them to retire. The department and the public need role models. Clean cut, forthright men the public can admire. Sergeant. He's right, though. I'll promote you. Oh. To lieutenant. Oh. Effective immediately. Detective lieutenant. Are you truly prepared to be despised within the department? Uh, yes, sir, I there's am. There's that, yeah. So be it. Target on his back immediately. A brief suspension followed by a temporary transfer from narcotics to vice. Wow, 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 wow. Advice? I doubt you've ever taken a stupid breath. Don't start now. Ooh. Okay, I'll do it. And so it goes, Detective Lieutenant. Wow. Hey, there you go. Asymmetry. 
with the grand jury tomorrow, son. And Ed, lose the glasses. The damn glasses again! Leave them alone! Oh. Four other witnesses recounted their testimony. Why? They had a change of heart. What about oh. Stensland? Your partner's through. Make a major case, Sergeant. It's the only way you're getting out of here. Hmm. Go get the facts, Jack. Oh. Just the facts. Oh, goodbye, buddy boy. This is what happens when you fight with people who are in jail already. Anybody there? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Lieutenant Exley. You got a homicide. Downtown division. The Night Owl coffee shop. I got it. That's mine. Uh, yoink. Oh, jeez. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. It's both ends of the street. Make sure. Oh no! I took. Oh my god! Holy shit! All of them were dragged in there and killed, or what the hell? We got an idea on one of the victims. It's Dick Stenslin. You know, when I first saw her, I thought she was Rita Hayward. Oh my God! Well, jeez. Oh man. Does your daughter have any distinguishing characteristics? Oh. You got the wrong idea, <gasps> Mister. I'm fine. Oh, it is her. She has a birthmark. It's her. Oh no. My baby. We have rubber glove smears on the register and preliminary forensics strongly tend towards a trio of shooters. We do have one hot lead, so listen well. Three juveniles were seen discharging shotguns last night in Griffith Park. Huh. Why not just put a bounty on them? Yeah, seriously. I feel like cops could kill super easily during this time because this was placed or it took place in the 1950s. That's what, what I read before. Forensic evidence was not the best. Sue Lefferts died at the Night Owl. I'm investigating. Why were Lefferts' eyes black? I use girls that look like movie stars. Sometimes I employ a plastic surgeon. When the work had been done, that's when you saw us. That's why her mother couldn't ID her. Oh, that's odd. I wonder if he just called her. Is it the cops? Well... I'm Officer White. Pierce called. He told me what happened to Sue. Mm, yep. Everything all right, doll? You want me to get rid of him? Hit the road, pal. It's a cop. You can't just get rid of him. Maybe I won't. Sir? LAPD shit, Bert. Get the fuck out of here. I'll call your wife to come get you. Yeah, seriously. Oh! Also, ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Officer. Councilman. Ah! He shaped up right quick. You're the first man in five years who didn't tell me I look like Veronica Lake inside of a minute. You look better than Veronica Lake. Wow. I'd like to see you again. Are you asking me for a date or an appointment? If you're asking me for a date, I should know your first Forget name. Forget I asked. That was a mistake. You got a brother up in Folsom. I know because I put him there. Till 19 fucking 70. How'd you like to make it 1960? We're looking for three colored guys who like to pop off shotguns. One of them owns a maroon Mercury coupe. Sugar Ray Collins drives a maroon 49 coupe. Don't know about shotguns, but gets his thrills killing dogs. Oh. He is righteous trash. What's wrong with people? So I'll hear from you, right? About my brother. Keep it up, Lenny. Up. Yeah, they're not gonna say anything to anybody about his brother. Okay, well, this is probably going to be a bloodbath. One of ours. Shit. Oh. No, no. <gasps> oh, good lord. What do you got? I got three 12 gauge pumps, an empty box of double lock buck, and some cash. Wow. Oh, God. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. I, d I know. Uh, I sense. Oh, shit. So, how's it feel getting out of the office? Okay. Could have been a bloodbath. Wasn't. Thankfully, Exley took that gun from that guy. There was literally no need to shoot them. The ejection marks on the shells fired from the suspect shotguns are identical to the marks on the shell casings found at the night owl. Oh. I want confessions, Edmund. 
I didn't mean to hurt her. Maybe she's okay. Um, okay. I just wanted to lose my cherry. She don't die, so I don't die. She don't die, so I don't die. Uh. Louis, listen to me. We she oh, the night out. Oh, no. <laughs> if that girl is still alive, she's the only chance you've got. I think she's alive. You think? Oh. Then where is she now? Oh, boy. To leave her someplace? Oh, no. To sell her out? Oh, Tell me where she is. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Put the weapon down. Is the girl. 109 Avalon. Brown Corner House. Upstairs. Holy shit. Woo! Man. So there's someone who is still alive, huh? Or someone... Oh, I guess... <gasps> someone they took? It is crazy, though. Every time there is a woman that is involved, he does get really, like, punchy, you know? Like, he's about to go off. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Shit. Wow. Oh, what a setup. I wow, that is who oh boy. Miss, I'm Lieutenant Exley. I'm sorry to have to ask you this. I need to know what time they left you. Get her to the hospital. I Excuse realize this me. is difficult. Oh. Give me a rear arrest. Leave her alone. How's it gonna look in your report? It'll look like justice. That's what the man got. Justice. Oh. You don't know the meaning of the word, you ignorant bastard. Raymond Collins, Ty Jones, and Louis Fontaine. They are considered armed and extremely dangerous. They got out? Repeat, the night all suspects have escaped. What? How did that happen? Oh, we know they jumped to the second floor. The girl at the hospital made a statement. Three oh. chicks left her at midnight. Plenty of time to beat the night owl by one. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. He's like Chesterfield. Oh my god! Oh shit! A glass fell! A glass fell! He thought it was a shot! Oh my god! Oh my god, no, he doesn't have his glasses. He doesn't have his glasses. Oh god, oh god. Oh, can he? I hope he sees. I hope he sees. You did good, kid. Holy shit. Wow. I thought he was going to shoot someone completely different because he didn't have his glasses. I wondered when you might knock on my door again, Officer White. <laughs> it's Bud. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Why do I feel like this is not going to end well? I don't know. Oh. Did you know the DA was a swish? No kidding. A swish. Remember Matt Reynolds, Christmas Eve, the movie premiere Pot Bust? He just got off the honor farm. What's he doing here? Reynolds is AC Doocy, not to mention broke. I'm getting him to fuck the DA for a hundred bucks. That's twice the 50 you got for wrecking his career. Hey, Matt! Jeez. Oh, me. my me. God! And no one's gonna know about this, right? No. It'll be our secret. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right. Showbiz. That's it. Yeah. Showbiz! Oh, Good lord. Well, it's gonna be on the front page of every newspaper, probably. Oh no. Oh no. Holy shit. Oh my god, what happened? You remember what time they left you, right? In your statement, you said they left you at midnight. They might have. Yeah. I don't know what time they left me. I wanted them dead. Oh. Will anyone care that they raped a Mexican girl from Boyle Heights if they hadn't killed those white people at the night hall? I did what I had to do for justice. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> that is not good. When I was 12, my old man went after my mother with a bottle. I got in the way. Mm. I'm sorry. It's none of my he business. He into the radiator. I watched him beat my mother to death with a tire iron, and it left me there. Jeez. Three days before a truant officer found us. Three days? 
Whoever killed Stensland is still around. I know it in here. There's something wrong with the night owl. I yeah. Just can't prove it at all. Yeah, that's really messed up what that girl said before, huh? That's like, that's bad. <laughs> There's blood on the wall here. That is Stensland's blood. Someone sitting next to him. Two of the victims were women, right? Yeah. Patty DeLuca, the night shift waitress, and a Susan Lefferts. Uh oh. Susan Lefferts. Mm hmm. Mrs. Lefferts? I'm Officer White. Tell me about the boyfriend, the one you mentioned at the coroner's office. Mm. See, I told you I didn't approve of that boyfriend. That's him. That's him. Wow. Oh my God. Um. Oh no. no. I think a rat died behind the wall. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh oh shit. Oh no. Ah! Oh no. Oh. Ugh. Oh. The squish noises. Leland, Leland Meeks. Meeks. Yep. Heard it. They call me Buzz. Uh oh, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Yeah, great big, big one. Yeah, big one. Let my daughter rest in peace. Mrs. Lefferts, I just want to ask a few questions. Officer White already checked under the house. Under the house? Oh, good lord. Oh, God, oh, God. Was rodents. Yeah, one big rat. I need an ID on this as soon as possible. Why in the world do you want to go digging any deeper into the Night Owl killings? Rolo Tomasi. Is there more to that, or am I supposed to guess? My father ran into him off duty, and he shot my father six times and got away clean. Oh. No one even knew who he was. I just made the name up to give him some personality. Oh, okay. Rolo Tomasi's the reason I became a cop. I wanted to catch the guys who thought they could get away with it. You know a guy named Buzz Meeks? Meeks that run down an ex-cop. Same as you're gonna be someday. Oh. And you can keep your 20 bucks. <laughs> that was a rumor going around that Meeks had a line on a large supply of H. He skipped out. <clears throat> Oof. Thanks. <sighs> oh, God. Wait. Oh, <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Since when do two-bit hoods and hookers give out autographs? Oh! What'd you say to me? A hooker cut to look like Lana Turner is still a hooker. Hey! Oh! She just looks like Lana Turner. She is Lana Turner. What? She is Lana Turner. Nice! <laughs> nice! The Veronica Lake lookalike works for you. She's one of you whores, correct? A vulgar term. <laughs> Why is she seeing Bud White? Why do men and women usually see each other, Mr. Exley? I'll drop you at your car. Where the <laughs> hell are you going? Lynn Brackens. I'm gonna find out why Patchett has her seeing Bud White. I don't know. Oh boy, what's oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. A shush off the record and on the QT. Oh no, oh no. He probably didn't know about Bud. I'm Lieutenant Exley. I know who you are. Bud told me all about you. Why does he have you fucking Bud White? What makes you think I'm not seeing Bud because I want to? I see Bud because he doesn't know how to disguise who he is. I see Bud for all the ways he's different from you. Ooh, man. Oh, what prompt did you fucking do that? Me and fucking Bud aren't the same thing, you know. Stop talking about Bud White. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Not good. Do you remember Buzz Meeks, doesn't he? A disgrace as a police officer. Twelve years ago, he was on a vice rouse with Dick Stensland. You were the supervising officer on that case, and I was wondering if you remember anything about it. What's this all about, Boyo? Part of it has to do with a murder. I've been working with Ed Exley on it. What does Exley make of all this? No, I haven't told him yet. I just came straight from the record <laughs> What the fuck? Have you a valediction, boyo? Rollo. Tomasi. Oh my god. Well, 
Captain's bad, not a good person. That is for sure. Um. Sergeant Vincennes was killed by a 32 slug to the heart. Ugh. Time of death, approximately 1 a.m. Uh huh. Although he was found in Echo Park, preliminary forensics Echo indicates Park. the body was most likely moved. Yeah. Our justice must be swift and merciless. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, why? Why? Why did he do that? I guess because he was getting too close to finding out something about him, questioning his cases. What's the name? Rolo Tomasi? You ever heard Vincennes mention him? Oh, man. Oh, that was pretty much his hint to him, huh? Helped him beyond the grave. Wendell? This is sick, oh. I'm willing to cooperate. There's oh, no need to time shit. it down. Would you care to comment on Pierce Patchett? And what? Oh. oh. He runs call girls. Primo tail fixed up to look like movie stars. Oh, boy. Blackmail shit. In my car. In the trunk. Under the rug. Patchett got me to photograph this cop screwing this gorgeous slut named Lynn. Looks just like Veronica Lake. Wendell, Wendell! Hey, hey, hey. Leave him be. Oh. Hey, leave him be. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's gonna see it. Oh god, oh god, not good. Oh, uh, yep. I thought you were gonna let the dumb bastard kill me. And you, learn to pull your punches a little better. Oh, it was a setup. <gasps> oh, he's dead. Dudley, we had a deal. You and me and Patchett, we're a team. We're friends. <laughs> Hush, hush. Wow. Dirty cops. Terrible people. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was not the right decision. It never is. Oh, but, uh, oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. Dudley killed Jack. He wants you to kill me. He showed you the photo, didn't he? I checked the daily report books. Dudley, Buzz Meeks, and Stensland go way back. Yeah. But I think Stens killed Meeks over heroin. Oh, a lot of points to this. Meeks ends up dead. Stensland dies at the night owl. Who wasn't the mm -mm. The rape victim lied in her statement. Yep. The first guys to the Mercury Coop were Bruning and Carlisle. Dudley's guys. They planted the shotguns. Wow. And they'd have killed him too if Jack and I hadn't shown up. Holy shit. Dudley framed them because they were and had records and he knew there'd be no questions asked if they were they were killed resisting arrest wow wow wow, wow. holy crap that's insane elaborate plan find out what the district attorney knows oh yes and there's the district attorney as well dudley smith is a highly decorated member of this police department i'm not going to smear his and pierce patchett's name without having... without what them smearing yours first what do they have on you low Pictures of you and Matt Reynolds with your pants down. Oh, yeah. Any proof? The proof had his throat slit. So what if some homo actor is dead, huh? Boys, girls, ten of them get off the bus to L.A. every day. Come on. Oh. 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 oh my God. What are Dudley and Patchett up to? They're taking over Mickey Cohn's rackets because because of those pictures. I I could I couldn't prosecute them. Wow. And it all comes out. Holy wow. Yep. I just can't. Wow. There's so many different things happening and they're all coming together. Oh no way. Suicide note. Says he killed Jack because Jack had figured out a pornography scam Patchett was running. No way. I'd say Dudley's tying up his loose ends. Patchett's dead. He sent you after me. Mm-hmm. 
Lynn. Oh, shh. West Hollywood, Sheriff. They're closer than we are. I'll get the car. We took her to the station for safekeeping. Somebody worked her over. She wouldn't say who. See you, ex. Um, sure. well... Oh, man, I feel so bad for her. Oh. Lynn, I need to know what you can give me on Dudley Smith. I've never heard of him. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that she hasn't heard of the Captain Dudley Smith at all. He is trying to be out of the picture as much as possible, so I'm not surprised. Dispatch got a call for you. Lieutenant actually wants you to meet him at the Victory Motel. All the loose ends getting tied up. Yep. Everybody dying today. Uh, uh oh. Oh, man. This is it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. Time for a bloodbath? <laughs> All I ever wanted was to measure up to my father. Well... Now's your chance. Huh. He died in the line of duty, didn't he? <laughs> Time to survive. Oh. oh! This is literally the final shootout. Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Very smart. Okay, very smart. Ow. Gotta pick up another gun. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Damn. Holy shit. Oh, no. I just saw someone. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Rolo Tomasi. Who is he? You are. You're the guy who gets away with it. Uh-huh. Come on. Get him. You're straight in there. Yes! Oh! Get him. Blast his freaking face off. Are you gonna shoot me or arrest me? Oh, I wonder. You could laugh. Or was the politician? But let me do the talking. After I've done, then make you chief of detectives. No, I don't know about that. I don't know if he should. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he should let him live. In all honesty. Hold up your badge, so they'll know you're a policeman. Oh, I think he's gonna shoot him. I think he's gonna shoot him. Get him, 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 get him. Yes! You know what? Good. Wow. Holy shit. You think you can talk your way out of this, Lieutenant? No. But I think I can tell the truth. Beginning with the incarceration of Mickey Cohen. Captain Smith has been assuming control of organized crime in the city of Los Angeles. Captain Smith admitted as much to me before I shot him at the Victory Motel. Wow. Well, well that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. Have a field day with this. If we can get the kid to play ball, who's to say what happened? Maybe Dudley Smith died a hero. A hero? In this situation, you'll need more than one. It is with great pleasure that I present this award Politician. to Detective Lieutenant Edmund Exley, two-time Medal of Valor recipient. Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I thought. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Played the system Next wisely. Year, yep. They're using me, so for a little while I'm using them. Yeah, true. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, what he said was the truth. And because... They didn't believe him. He might as well play it a little bit. Oh, he's alive! Yay! Oh my god! Thanks for the push. Yay, I'm glad he's alive. I was hoping so. 
Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That was. Whew, that was quite the loaded movie, honestly, right? There was a lot going on and there were so many moving parts, but it all came together, you know, pretty much. You know, it started to really come together, what, like halfway or so through, more than halfway through, and the wheels just kept turning and they kept turning. So this was great. I mean, this was a really cohesive story and really just entertaining and, and tense and just kind of just crazy with uh, so many people dying. So definitely enjoyed it and I really do hope that you guys did too. This movie was definitely super, super crazy in a lot of ways. Again, a lot went on, a lot happened, so many different moving parts and stories that kind of just came together at a point and really started to make sense. To me, it wasn't confusing. Sometimes like you have all these names that they throw out and this person did that and that person did that and it could definitely get confusing, but this for surprisingly actually uh, I wasn't confused when they were talking about people and having their names be thrown out especially towards the end when Bud and Ed were talking in the office just really putting things together I was just like yeah no I actually completely understand what's going on they were throwing out all these names and stuff and I was like yeah no that guy yep that guy yep yep so I I was on the same page and I'm actually I'm actually proud of myself for that in all honesty I said it earlier in the reaction but with this movie taking place in the 1950s I feel like cops kind of got away with things that these cops in this movie got away with too unfortunately I feel like there were definitely some parallels in terms of what you know cops and people in law enforcement did get away with especially again because it was the 1950s and forensic evidence and such like fingerprints and all blood spatter analysis and all that stuff uh, wasn't really that good, if not at all good whatsoever. I feel like that really developed in the 70s, 80s, and especially like in the 90s. I watch a lot of forensic files, so I'm just kind of going off what I learned from that. <laughs> So it's crazy to think kind of like how many things like this, and again, I know this isn't necessarily a true story, at least I don't think so, but things kind of of this parameter that happened and the things that happened and how evidence was placed or how bribes were, you know, said and done and all that. And yeah, I think it definitely still happens today. But I feel like it's a lot harder to get away with it. But yeah, overall, again, really thought this was a really entertaining film. Super insane with some of the things that happened. And I really enjoyed it overall. And of course, I hope each and every single one of you watching enjoyed this reaction as well. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to like it. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. Those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so very much for being there. And I hope you're enjoying all of the extra content like those full unedited reactions and the access to the polls. If you wanted to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, but I'm mainly over on Twitch and streaming over there. And of course, thank you so much to Ryan for that level five Patreon tier movie request and requesting this film. Really, really did enjoy it. Super entertaining, super interesting, definitely tense and like just crazy. Had a great time with it. Hope you guys did too. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.